guys, Mandy from Tidy Sticky Mama here and it's getting to be about hospital bag time. So let's have a look. I'm in a due date group on Facebook and we are getting to the point where about half of the posts, if not more, are about labor and delivery and probably about half of those are about the hospital bag. You know, that bag of stuff that you bring with you when it's time to go have the baby. And it's not just a first time mom topic either. I see moms that have done it once or twice that are also, you know, thinking about what to pack this time. And as a mom doing this for the fourth time, I thought I'd share what I've learned and what I pack. Now, what you will need varies a little bit by hospital and your personal comfort levels. Always best to check with your care team or by calling the maternity ward directly to make sure that they have what you think they're going to have for you. Most hospitals will provide the basics, you know, something for baby to wear, diapers, wipes, pacifiers if you want or use them, those awesome mesh panties and giganto pads for you, but definitely check first. You shouldn't have to worry about packing any of those things, but it's better to know for sure than to count on something being there only to get caught without it. Especially if you live a ways out from the hospital you'll be at. Most uncomplicated deliveries will only have you in the hospital for a couple of days. So my general rule for packing the hospital bag is to only bring anything you cannot possibly live without for two whole days. If you could survive two days without it, leave it home. So chances are that's not very much. And that's a good thing, okay? Because everything you bring with you, you need to bring home. And anything that you don't need to remember to do as a freshly postpartum, sleep deprived new mama is great, <laughs> okay? I way overpacked with my first, as I'm sure many of us do, but I think we tend to forget, as ridiculous as it sounds, I think we tend to forget that we'll be leaving the hospital with a whole extra person, <laughs> okay? And a lot of hospitals also have like some promo gifts and stuff from like the formula companies or like a sleep sack or little things or all the diapers and wipes from under the baby's bassinet. Just saying. <laughs> so you are always going to be leaving with more than you came with. Make it easier on yourself by not bringing a lot in the first place. Trust me. If you've been around the channel, it's going to come as no surprise whatsoever that I tend to pack by category. Toiletries, memories, and leaving or miscellaneous. Basically the things that you need to take care of yourself while you're there, the things you'll need to capture those very first memories, and what you need for the journey home or whatever. These are going to be a little bit personal, so I'll talk through them in general and show you what I'm doing, but it is going to vary a little bit. Like, if you're the type of person that cannot imagine a single day without makeup, no matter what, you're going to want to throw your kit in your bag. Somebody that doesn't or isn't concerned about it after just having a baby won't. Or if You've got really super sensitive skin and you cannot use anything but one particular soap, you need to bring that soap with you. You know, that sort of thing. So what does a fourth time mom have in her hospital bag? Well, right now, nothing. And that's because a lot of it is, like I said, things that I cannot live without for two whole days. And it's hard to pre-pack things when you're still using them. But, you know, I packed during labor with my third and I probably will again for this one. I know where all of this stuff is, it's easy for me to grab, so even if I only have 10 minutes before I need to run out the door and rush to the hospital, I'll have time. But this is what will be in the bag when the time comes. For toiletries, I'm pretty low maintenance. I'm okay using the hospital's soap and shampoo for the couple of showers that I'll take while I'm there, so I'm really only bringing my deodorant, my toothbrush and toothpaste, my contact solution and my contact case, my glasses, a hairbrush with a couple of hair ties, 
and my regular men's. Easy enough, right? I see people post these huge long lists and I'm just like, really? You just had a baby and you think you're gonna shave? <laughs> I don't think so. I could buy the travel sizes of some of that stuff and pack it ahead, but I know where everything is and it's gonna be easy enough to grab, so I'm not worried about it. Why buy it when you already have it? I am going to pre-pack two Ziploc baggies though, one for my toothbrush and toothpaste and one for my contact case and solution because we always seem to run out of Ziploc baggies at the worst possible time and I want to make sure I have those. For catching those birthday memories, I've got my good camera, my journal, the baby book, and this sweet little chalkboard for stats and those first picks. Now if you want prints at all of your baby's itty bitty hands and feet on that first day, definitely bring that stuff with you because the labor and delivery nurses are the best at catching nice, clear, itty bitty baby prints and you really want to make use of that expertise. Finally, I've got babies coming home outfits, a phone charger, and comfy clothes for me to wear home. <laughs> we are team green on this baby and my kids are born huge, so I have four outfit options. I have a newborn and a zero to three month size available in either boy or girl options, so yeah, a little excessive maybe, but you know, I couldn't decide on a neutral option to just buy in two sizes, so here we are. Actually, I don't even have the boy options yet, so there's that. But that's the idea anyway. You probably noticed I didn't pack anything for my husband or baby besides the baby's coming home outfits in there. And that's because Ryan is an adult and can pack his own crap. And I know that my hospital provides everything we could possibly need for baby while we're there. So I don't need to bring any of it. We're not even gonna bring the diaper bag because we live like 10 minutes away and there's nothing baby's going to need on the way home. So yeah, that's a lot less stuff for me to worry about packing and is why I really suggest that you call your labor and delivery floor and make sure that you know what you don't have to bring because the less you have to bring, the less you have to worry about. I also don't pack clothes for myself for the actual hospital stay and that's because you know, I don't usually really feel like getting dressed while I'm there anyway, and birth is messy. <laughs> and if I'm gonna be bleeding and leaking milk, I would rather do it all over their hospital gown than my clothes. I see it recommended a lot if you're breastfeeding to bring your boppy with you, and you know, I really find that unnecessary because it's pretty bulky, and really an extra pillow will do the same job and the nurses are usually really good about bringing you extras of pillows and blankets and whatever you need so skip it leave the breastfeeding pillow at home the the one extra thing i would advise bringing if you are breastfeeding for the very first time or you're going to be using a pump with which you are unfamiliar bring the pump with you because while you're in the hospital you can get hands-on help from the lactation consultant before you leave and even if you won't be using the pump for a few weeks or a few months, being comfortable with the operation and making sure that you've got a good fit is really important and will go a long way in helping make your breastfeeding journey successful if you're going to need to be pumping. And that'll be harder to get once you leave the hospital. So it's worth bringing it along if you have it already when you deliver. Anyway, that's what's going with me to the hospital to have our fourth baby. Hopefully you found that helpful if you've got labor and delivery in the near future yourself and reassuring that you don't need an entire suitcase full of stuff to go have that baby. But again, make sure you do check with your hospital so you know for sure what you will need to bring with you. I've had three different babies and three hospitals in three different cities. And while my experience between them has been fairly consistent, that doesn't mean that it's going to be your experience and it is always best to confirm with your hospital. 
because again, you don't want to think that they provide something and then find yourself caught without, you know, diapers. <laughs> Nobody wants to go without the diapers, right? Hit me up in the comments with any questions or tips of your own and be sure to hit that subscribe button for me. I've got another video coming for you soon with packing a diaper bag. Bye guys. See you next time.